I actually have the upgrade kit here with me today thanks to Backfire. They sent me one uh, so I could make an informational video for you guys. So thanks Backfire. I'm gonna try to make this video as concise as possible. So I'm gonna split it up into three main parts. And of course, all of those time links can be found below in the description if you wanna jump into anything right away. Basically what this new upgrade kit comes with is a new ESC and a new remote. So Backfire recently released a new electric skateboard called the Backfire G2S. For those of us who have already bought the Backfire G2, Backfire has released this upgrade kit, which allows us to switch out this old ESC with the new one that they ship out with a new board. The ESC stands for Electronic Speed Controller, and that is the circuit board on your electric skateboard that basically controls everything. I'll link that in the description below too if you guys are interested in checking it out. Onto the tutorial part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I switched out my ESC I recommend getting some sort of box or Tupperware so that you can just put your screws and your tools in them. There are two identical sets of wires. Uh, each set contains one of these five color ribbon wires and these three thicker yellow, blue, green wires. This top half is actually the left motor and this bottom half is actually the right motor. Each side plugs into one of these. So I guess the final ending question would be, um, do you uh, think it's worth it? For a hundred bucks, do you think I should get the new upgrade? For those of us who already do own the Backfire G2, this is a really, really good upgrade. It kind of almost feels like a completely new board because of how integral the ESC is. So yeah, um, I'd say it's 100% worth it. If you do have the money, much smoother ride experience. The control is much more responsive, so you're able to get 100% power and 100% brake much more quickly than on the old board. Now this new remote, uh, I'm gonna just say real quick what I like about it over the old remote and what I don't like about it over the old remote. Overall, this is definitely the superior remote for a bunch of different reasons. It gives you um, a wider range of control because this wheel rotates a lot more. While this tiny little lever kind of only has half a centimeter to go on each side. Um, another thing I really love about this new remote is that it vibrates when you turn it on and vibrates when it disconnects. And this vibration is really useful, especially when you're riding. Two things that I don't really like about this remote, one of them is not too serious, is the fact that I kind of miss this finger hole. I don't know, I'm just really used to holding the remote like this. It just feels like the remote can't really fall out of my hand that easily. With this new remote, the form factor is a little closer to that of the boosted remote. I'm not too used to putting my finger in front like this. I feel like it's a little more awkward for my thumb for this whole range of motion, but I am sure this is something that I will get used to with time. So the second thing is kind of another really minor thing. It's the fact that you can no longer switch modes in the middle of riding. It is a lot safer. You wouldn't be able to accidentally change modes while you're riding. But at the same time, I would toggle between modes all the time in the middle of riding in order to conserve battery when I needed to. For this one, you do have to stop the board in order to change your mode, but I'm sure it's not gonna be too bad. Some minor things that I also wanna let you guys know about, the new ESC actually makes sound. It makes this 
kind of um, electronic whirring noise that you can hear, it is completely normal. That is just part of the new ESC. Second small thing is that when I turn on my board, I used to hear this deep deep sound from my old ESC. This new one is completely silent. It doesn't make that beep anymore. So I will kind of miss that beep, but again, not a huge deal. Overall, this board is more beginner friendly because of how smooth the controls are. Um, I'd say if you're an experienced rider, definitely be a little more cautious about gunning it all the way up and all the way back. I actually took a pretty hard fall, and this is not the board's fault, this is my own fault, but th this just goes to show that you need to be very careful when you're using like a new board or when you're using an upgraded board that you might not be used to. I was wearing a helmet with this helmet on. I still got a concussion, so without the helmet, I guess you can imagine that would not have ended well for me. With these boards, you can really kind of forget how dangerous they are, especially because of how fun they are to ride and um, how comfortable you get on them. So this is just my two cents. I would always recommend wearing a helmet. That was the video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was informational. If it was helpful to you, I'd really appreciate if you left me a like down below and commented about what you thought. Um, I really love hearing your comments and your feedback. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Right?